In my personal meditations, at a certain point I began to receive sort of wild and violent messages, and I was hesitant to share them. And then I thought, well, that's what's coming. I call them Kali messages. This one is Rage and Transformation. Rage and Transformation. Pity? Don't make me laugh. The monsters of this world deserve no pity. Rage. Rage against travesty, against the rape, cruelty, slaughter of innocence. With all your heart, soul, fire, rage. Let there be no sweet sympathy for the powerful who maim and torture the weak. For all the exploitation of innocence, there must be vengeance. And so the caterpillar, bloated with its own excess, must be blown apart of its own dark fires. And it is not pretty. Be butterfly, quick. Now, decide. Let there be no shy reluctance, no claim of weakness, sweetness, or mercy. No mercy. For some, there can be no mercy. They must be utterly destroyed, dismantled. And that is all. This is the voice of spirit, of old souls crying from the bosom of the earth, of God. Be gone forever. You are utterly destroyed. How else will innocence return? There must be a destruction. There must be dismantling. And it is not safe or pretty or painless. It is a heavy death. Have they stopped making war, poisoning the earth, abusing the innocent, cheating the poor, ravaging the land? polluting the sea, arming the heavens with weapons of mass destruction. They have not. The caterpillar dies of its own greed, and the earth and the heavens cooperate. You say, but it also takes down the children, the innocent, when there are fires and famine, sickness and war. What of that? Are we not to stand in the way? To stop the destruction? Or have we been too careful? Too careful not to ruffle feathers, to make trouble, to upset the social order. What does God say? God says it is not up to me to work the alchemy of transformation. 
There is a ship going by. It is the vessel of tomorrow. Divine cooperation and ease. A beauty of life that we cannot yet imagine. We are asked to board this ship, for it is the future, and boarding it is everything. Board the vessel of life in divine, eternal form at last. This is the new earth, and we are asked to begin to embody it. The sooner we embody the new earth, the sooner innocence will be nurtured. the sooner destruction will cease. We are asked to begin here, in the kingdom of the self, to be taken over by the divine energy that wishes to transform this earth We are asked to be vessels of this. First and last, we come into a silence that accepts this human form completely and offers it to the service of a love more powerful, eternal, invincible than we can possibly imagine. But how do we deserve to do this? Are you asking us to climb aboard a vessel of transcendence as the rest of the world is suffering? Yes. Because this vessel can save, and you alone cannot. This world paradigm is dying of its own weight, and we are asked, we ourselves, to be vessels of life. And as each one of us becomes life, this eternal frequency the most powerful of all begins to permeate the collective. But we are not in charge of that level of alchemy. We only are invited into the inner sanctum of divine existence, which is everywhere more vitally available to us than ever before. Seize the opportunity. 
invite and invite again the energy of the heavens. The source that created all of life How much more powerful is light than darkness? You decide. 